Welcome back, everybody. This is King AKJK from In Game We Trust, and I am here today with a new mission that came out a little while ago that's going to get you ready for the Clockwork City update. Alright? Uh, start off right now. To find this mission, any Mages Guild and any Alliances. So I'm a High Elf, I came back here to the Somerset Isles, and I'm a Vocal Guard in the Mages Guild. Alright? But you can find it in any of the Mages Guilds. The one here in Skywatch. Is there one in Skywatch? I think there's one in Skywatch. Yep. You can find it there. Any Mages Guild in any of the Alliances. Okay? When you walk into the Guilds, you'll find another black arrow for quests. And right there will be a piece of paper. The Order of the Eye Dispatch. I'm going to read that stuff here. It's basically sending you to the Sun to talk to a Mage over there in one hold. So, where we're going? We're going to go to the Pack Territory. And we are going to go to the Sand. And we're going to Mornhold. Mornhold. This Mage's Guild here. Okay? So that's where we're going. We're going to cross Tamarill here. Again. Right here. In the Sand. Alright. So I'm going to get there. We'll link back up. All right, we're here in Mornholds, in the Shen, and we're going to the Mages Guild across the uh, city. Ooh, okay. In this Mages uh, Guild, there's no banners out front directly, but uh, let's go in here. This little area here, and go right through here, and it's back there, that door there. That's the Mages Guild. I'll show you again the map. Okay. Now, just come, don't go throughout there, and you know, just dust the outside rings, just come this way. Oh, go that way. I'm sorry, go this way. I'm thinking of another thing here. You read my letter. Here's one. Wait, what's happening? Very interesting. All right. Now here's Bonnie Fred. All right, talk to her. Yes. Just as I feared. I know looking for this artifact would get us killed. I warned them. Warned all of them, but they wouldn't listen. They never listen. I've got to find the others. There's still time to save them. It has to be. Something very dangerous. But that can wait. My friends are in danger and don't even see it. Some scryers, huh? Adebra's in Shornhelm. And when Riddle is in Marbrook. Milo's in Stormhold, maybe? I just hope we're not too late. Alright, how are your friends, were you? Got any questions? Let's just make a quick, alright? My friends can very well outrun their own shadows. I'm not going to go through all this, because it's going to be a, uh, a long time. I suggest you do this when you're doing the mission yourselves, but the quick version, they found a Daedric artifact that makes shadows themselves, and the shadows are coming to, are coming to life and murdering their hosts or their original... The original uh, people, the original selves, okay? Um, and that is basically what the issue is here. So, I'm just going to save 10 minutes of nonsense. And, no, it's not nonsense, it's very important. Not very important, but it's part of the story. Um, I suggest, when you're doing the mission yourselves, to definitely go through it all. Now, real fast, we have to go through two diff three different places. We have to go to... I just go to Shadowfen first, here, and find... This guy, uh, Nilo, he's in Stormhold, right next to the Waste Shrine, so he's simple. Go there first, I suggest. Then, I would go to River Spire here, in Shornhelm, and find this guy here, in their Mages Guild. Okay? And then, I would go, because I'm an elf, I go back to my alliance in Greenshade, 
and finds the other one in Malbark. All right. But first, we're gonna go to Shadowfen. So when we get there, and we'll link back up. All right, we're back here in Stormhold. Basically, all we did is went from the Shan up here to down here in Shadowfen, and we're in Stormhold, and we're looking for an Argonian who is basically directly across from us. So let's go talk to this Argonian here. Just do the intimidation, because a lot of times when you don't do it, you have to do another thing, and right now it's not worth it. Just do the intimidation, intimidation, and uh, get the ball move moving. All right. I'm sorry. I'll come out. Why do you mean? You remind me of my sister, Sarai. She is a wonderful person. When she gets mad, I'd rather tangle with an angry hat wing. How do you know about the shadows? Yes, of course. Zarai will put me in a very bright room. Or should it be a very dark room? Uh, I cannot take this kind of stress. Look, my scales are falling out. Thank you. And Bonifred. Tell her I am sorry I doubted her dedication in the past. That's very important to think to... to that's, that's kind of important. So keep that in your head right there. Yes, yes, I know I will. If you have spoken to Bonifrey, you must know about our research into the Daedric artifact. Please, take my notes. Preferably far, far away. I hid them in those roots over there. I am sure that is what these shadows want. Okay. Alright, right, over here. This tree here. Grab these notes. It's basically what their experiences were like while they had this Daedric artifact they were studying. Now the next place we're going to, wrong, wrong button. on the map. Next place we're going now. We're leaving the pack. We're going to Daggerfall, and we're going to Riverspire to Stormhelm, and we're going to go to this Mage's Guild here and talk to this next guy, Adler. All right. So when I get there. We will link back up. Alright, we're back here in Shornhelm and River Spire in the pack. Alright. Now we want to go to the Mages Guild here too, like usual. Alright. Don't go straight, that's leading to the other guy that's in Marburg. You want to go over here to the right. And made this guild right over here. This follows the road. Oh. Okay. We're back. Okay. What is that? That's silk. I'm grabbing that. You can always use so. Alright. Here's Adler. We're gonna go to this guy here. Talk to this guy at the pillar. Podium. Ah, greetings, Adapt. Everyone recognizes the guild associate who matched wits with the mad god. Uh, what can I do for you? Bonifer? The nearsighted scryer? What she. Never mind. Just, j just the keep the these moment. things in mind when they say these things about Bonifer. He usually goes to the court guard behind the guild hall when he needs some time alone. Is he going to be alright? You're serious, aren't you? Mara, protect us. I'll gather up the other initiates and alert the Magister at once. Please, just find the Debra and bring him back safe. We'll do all we can to protect him. Alright, I'll find him. Now, when you come out here, 
He's in the one of the yards meditating, well, that kind of sense. We leave the guild hall, let's go to the right. And go down this little alleyway here. And you're gonna find him. Right here. Unfortunately, we're too late. He's already been killed. But we have his journal. So, not all is lost. Now, you don't have to warn that guy, but, you know, you're just trying to be the, do the right thing. And you can warn him. It takes a what, take, couple seconds to do it. So, just uh, go ahead and give him a heads up. Hey, there. His friend's dead. You're back. Good. Yep. I'm back. I erected a powerful ward on the door. And... Wait, Wait a second. I know that expression. If there's a powerful ward, how do I just walk through the door? A neighbor is dead. Yeah, he's gone. He ate damn whoever did this to him. He was so sweet. Such a quiet and gentle soul. Always there with a timid smile and a kind word. Who could... Thank you for letting me know. We'll see to it that he's laid to rest. Just warn the others. All right. All right, we are going to warn the others. Um, the last person we're going to look for here, we're going to leave the Covenant, and we're going to go right to the south, back to Dominion Lands, and we're going to go to Green Jade here in Malwark in Green Jade. All right? If you don't have these unlocked using your local transit caravans, we'll get you to all these areas you got to be. And luckily, most of these things are the main cities, so as soon as you land in those caravans, you'll be in the main cities and you'll be able to, you know, get moving on it right away. Okay, but we're on our way to Greenshade, so when I get there, see you then. Alright, we're here in Marburg, and uh, we have to go to the Mage's Guild here. Now, the map, it's right up here. Let's go up this, up this road here, to the left, and there's the Mage's Hole. But she's not in the hole exactly. She's on the off over the other one in the garden. So let's come this way. And she's in here. Oh, the stairs here. I mean, there's the stairs here. Okay, there's stairs you could have gone too. So coming out of there, just grab the stairs here. That's a lot, a lot faster. I didn't realize there's stairs here. I've been playing this game for how many years? So that's from the stairs. Really? Uh, okay. Um. Oh shoot! The guard actually helped. That's very interesting. I did. Okay, that's kind of. That's very interesting. Okay. Um. Now we have to go talk to her, actually. Now she'll be in the actual guild hall now. You know, and I probably want to... No, I have to let that one. No. There we are. She's hiding in a plant over here. Don't go in that safe box by accident. I did that once. It's a pain in the butt doing that. Yes. It was my shadow, wasn't it? Yes, it was your shadow. Why would it attack me? I always treated it well. Plenty of sunshine, candlelight and such. All done now, I suppose. It doesn't look like it's coming back. In great. <laughs> now I feel... Uh, damn. Not really. I think my shadow may have peeled off some of my animus. My soul, I mean. Or maybe just some of my magical aptitude. Either way, it's something I'll miss. But don't blame yourself. I'm not. You did keep it from killing me, after all. Yeah, believe me, I had no. I took no guilt in that whatsoever, believe me. Well, that was terrible of her. Didn't think she much liked me. Bit of a sore head, that one. Anyway, I'm grateful. I hid my notes on the artifact in the planter over there. Just in case, you know. They're yours if you want them. Yes, I'll take them. I'm collecting notes. So let's go across here to the planter and uh, grab 
her notes. Okay, this is where it gets very exciting. This is where parts of Skyrim and this game come together here. I was very excited for this to happen. Sigic Order. This is where we're going to get a little tricky things here. The lantern lies hidden in a sunken ship near Canarthia's roost. The lens rests in a coffer deep within the howling sepulchres. The howling sepulchre sepulchres. Then seek out my boat near Valkyl Guard. Trust no one. Our enemies are very well hidden. Right, before I go on to the Howling Septicus, here, trust nobody. Our enemies are well hidden. Okay, so keep that in mind too when later on in the mission. The Howling Septicus are in Craghorn. Now, I don't think that is a group dungeon, so you should be able to do the dungeon by yourself if you're, if you're by yourself. Any questions here? Yes. She doesn't give you an idea what this artifact is yet, so don't worry about asking that one yet. But as it, when you do the mission, do it so you get the whole thing. The lantern lens, you'll fit the Sigix here. This is what I was. No, I'm very familiar with the order, but uh. Okay, that's what I'm really going to go into because the other things you'll you'll get more into it. But I was very excited to hear that this order is back and that we'll actually be working with them again. In Skyrim, when you do the um, the mage quests in Skyrim, they are very involved in taking the Eye of Magnus and all that and helping you out with this. So I was very excited when I heard that coming up. I was like this is a missing, not a missing part, but a part I was hoping to see in this game because I, I kind of liked the entire aspect in Skyrim. Now, where we're going? First, I suggest get the hardest thing out of the way. Go to Craghorn and uh, get that lens. Now, I already did the mission, uh, not the mission, that dungeon a long time ago. When um, And for some reason, when the one Tamriel update came out, all of my... I never did this one. This one I never did for this character. All these went black again. I completed all of them, but they went black. Never mind, that's not important. We want to go here to the very northern end of... Well, not northern then. Oh, I just do that. Shoot, shoot. All the way north up here, to the Howling Septicus. Now, if you have this way shrine unlocked, Valley of Scars, I would do that. If you can't do that, you can go to for the Dominion. Well, in all of the alliances, it's the second place you go to. So for us, it's in Cartwood. If you go to Cartwood here to Elden Root. There is a trolley here somewhere that will take you here. I believe... No, that's not the one. He's right here. He's right here, like, on this road. And he'll take you to Craghorn if you haven't been there yet. You know, real fast, let me just show you so you know. I, I Alright, we're in Gartwood. And, uh... If you come down right out of the thing here... Here are the caravans. They'll take you almost anywhere in the uh, town really you have to go to. 
Now, all Alliance areas have these places here, the caravan, navigators, okay? And they're usually marked out with little caravan symbols like this, or the boat and ship wheels like that on the docks. Okay, and they will leave, they will usually drop you off in the major cities of the other alliances. Now, if you haven't been to Craghorn yet, Stargazer Herald here, he's in every alliance. Um, the second place you usually go to, so for us it's Cartwood. For the pack it is the Shen. And I believe, what the, what in the world is it? I believe Rivenspire, I believe. For the Covenant, I believe he's in. Am I wrong or right? Yes, he's in River Spot. He's in. He's here for the for the Covenant. So that's the way you go then, if you haven't been there yet. But I've been there, so I'm gonna avoid that nonsense. Show you once more where we're going here, because when you go there through him, when you go through the Herald, they're gonna dump you off in Belkarth, which is at like the beginning area here. And you have to make your way north to the Howling Septica. I mean, you can do it. Just hop on this road here. Come up through here. Go around this way. It's very simple. You can do it. I didn't have to go through Belkar here. I had this Way Shrine locked. So I just came right here to the Valley of Scars Way Shrine. If you can't do it, it's very safe. Let's come up this road and around here. Now, I'm going to show you how to get to this, um, this dungeon here. We're going to get on the road here. And we're gonna go here. This, this, this. Uh, I guess Y in the road. We're gonna go this way. So if you're coming from that way, if you're coming from Belkarth, you get to the Y. Go to the right. It's a little bit of a hole, so I might do some time travel. Not time travel, but uh, speed up time. We're in this dungeon. Believe it or not, it's very simple for the mission and to clear it. There are other parts to it, but I'm not going to show those parts for now. I'm going through it. There's two bosses. You'll see where they are. And the Sky Shard. It is no lie. Just following this road. You're going into mountains and hillsides. That's why you don't see the road anymore. But it's that simple. Just follow these roads and you'll be able to clear it. Get the way get the way shrine, get the sky shard, and complete the mission for this quest also.
Okay, hope you enjoyed that quick tour of that uh, dungeon. Only two bosses. The sky shards in that little corner where I showed you. And that's it. Now, we have to go now to Canarthi's Roost, I believe. So I'm going to go back down to that way shrine. You should be able to because you should have unlocked it when we went by it. Go to that way shrine and we're going to go to Canarthi's Roost. And we are going to go to this shipwreck here. Alright, we're here at Canarthi's Roost. The Canarthi Roost Way Shrine. There's only two Way Shrines in this island, this and Minstrel. But this is the one here, closest to where we gotta go. And you just wanna head south, basically, past this uh, Eagle Strand, the, the uh, fortress here, and go right to this shipwreck. You'll see it once you get down closer to the island. Ooh, can we make these jumps? Oh god. Oh yeah, good, good thing I put my health higher. Plus, I'm a vampire. I think I'm on stage four, which your health is crap then anyway. But, uh, yeah. We're heading this way, down the beach. There's usually some treasure chests around here, but they're only training here anyway, so it's not like it, if you find anything crazy good. I do want this. Yes. Nice. Mm-hmm. Okay. We gotta get wet, so jump on the water. Thank God vampires don't melt in water. Swim across. And uh, this kind of... It bothered me a little bit. You're gonna have to go someplace else after this. But... It is what it is, I guess. It's a long swim. Jump up here. Alright, go into the cabin. And you'll find right here. Soggy note. Read that. Okay. We, we have to go now to Hazardous Hollow, which is on the other side of Kanarthi's Roost, which really stinks. There's no fast way there. You just got a whole ass on your horse all the way up. Alright. When we get to dry land, I'll show you where it is. Anyone in the Alliance already knows where it is, but repeat myself here, but, you know, it's... Unfortunately, it's got to be done to finish the mission. Alright. So, here we are. And here's Hollow. Alright, so it's literally no way shrines. I mean, and even if you go here and, and go across, there's hills you gotta climb and everything. It's a pain in the butt. I'm just gonna soldier through. Going all the way north. Not so bad, right? Could be worse. Okay. Now, you have to go back. If anyone did this alliance, you know you have to go in here and help that woman's son kill his father. Um, we're going back here again to get back the lantern they still took. Well, they did. Oh, I should have, I should have bit her. This guy is not the best for fast killing. He's good, and I like my Dragon Knight, but I definitely have stronger characters. Okay, 
Hey, it's in their, this chest here, in this chest, in this crate. I'm gonna pick it up, take it. Now, <laughs> get this, we have to go all the way back to Loco Guard. All right. So, I mean, if you want, you could just, I guess, just fast travel, spend $146 to go and fast travel back to Loco Guard. Um, this is where we gotta go, because right here, this island down here, is where you gotta go find their boat. So, I am gonna actually go back to the way I'm cheap. I don't like paying for things. So I'm gonna go back and um, run through back to the way shrine here in Northeast these roosts. All right. So when I get there, I'll come back to you. All right, we're here back in the Sunset Isles, in Velco Guard, and we need to be over here. Behind that island that sticks out in the middle of for some reason, makes the harbor there. So we are going to get wet once again. Have to swim out. Uh, let's go over here to this pier. All right. Make it dramatic. Oops. Boom! Yeah, look at that. Okay. We got to swim all the way out here in the rain. It's probably thundering and lightning too, so we might get struck by lightning, possibly. And um. Get her boat. There's no fast way of doing this, unfortunately. This is what you gotta do. Okay. You really going to climb aboard this death trap? Just hold a moment and think it through. How'd you find me? Lack of intuition? Yeah, didn't think so. I may look the part, but I'm no bloodhound. Uh huh. Truth is, I slipped a sporing coin into your pocket before you left Moorhold. A sporing coin. It's an enchanted drake. Looks mundane, but it bears a charm that we can track. Who's we? You don't approve? We can argue about that later. For now, I can't let you get on this boat alone. It's too dangerous. Let me go with you. Nothing here makes me feel good at all whatsoever. Uh, you do what you want to do, but I don't think so. Yeah, and you know what kind of people say things like come alone? Murderers. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, I'll be fine. Don't worry about me. Yeah. I'll be all right. I'll be fine. All right. This is very exciting. You finally see where the Cedric Order actually resides now. Unfortunately, they never show you on the map. Like, you can't find out exactly where. I know you're up the coast of Somerset Isles, but where? I mean, I'm going to guess somewhere here from where the boat was pointing. Like, I'm guessing somewhere around here. Uh, but it doesn't matter. It's cool as to be here. It's cool as to get more lore of that group, that, that you know, society. So basically, we're just following this road up here. I mean, there's not much you can do here. You can't get lost, really. I mean, it's kind of direct, straightforward, this area here. We're going to meet back up with, uh, what's her name? That elf lady. There, you see you see on the compass up there. Yes, I'm here. Welcome to Dranil Kia. Let's get in out of the rain, shall we? I trust you bought the items I requested. Yes. The scrying chamber is just up the hill. I have the items. I wouldn't be able to get this far in a mission if I didn't have them. The game wouldn't let me. The weather here is always poor. A side effect of the Obscurus's presence, I'm told. And this is awesome. I mean, look at this architecture. I mean, it, it, this Iliad ruin stuff with it. This is really... I, I'm, I like this whole area. It's very... um, Very interesting. Uh, let's, let's move along. I'm getting sidetracked.
All right, we're gonna follow her. But the obscurest device has been doing it for centuries. Let's hope that the genius of my forebears has stood the test of time. Affix the lantern and the lens. The answers we seek are within our grasp. Okay, so those items we got. Uh oh. It's like, oh no. Ah. Well, banish you back to Pearl Harbor, where you originated from. All right, see there. That's why I told you, don't trust her. I gotta defeat her now. All right. She's still alive. All right. That's that Nord woman. That was uh. It looks like ebony armor it looked like she had. Uh, that's that lady we first met when that first guy was killed. I told you she was bad. Don't trust her. Alright. We're going to put the lantern thingy down first, I believe. All right. Okay. Looks very Dwemer. Am I wrong or no? Maybe not. I don't know. The Iliads were pretty good at building things, too. Now we're going to put the ring. Alright. And now we are going to activate this thing. All right, watch the rejection. A fabricant? Yeah. I don't... No. This cannot be. The city was sealed long ago. What is this creature? Some new Daedric beast? The clockwork city. Could it be? After all this time? Uh, if you look, if you did the missing prophet, missing prophecies uh, mission, that woman looked kind of like the one we had to fight in the end of the last one. Let's talk to her. The images revealed by the Obscuros leave little room for doubt. The Daedric artifact we seek is somewhere inside the clockwork city. Why would Sophocle allow such an item to enter his domain? I fear that something terrible has happened. Yes, of course. I sometimes forget this is not common knowledge. Sothaseel, brother to Vivek, and Magus of the Tribunal, created the Clockwork City long ago. He rarely speaks of it, but scholars believe this city has the power to remake Tamriel. The city functions as a simulacrum of the corporeal plane. Making a change to the Clockwork City may well change some aspect of Tamriel itself. This is all speculative, but I've studied under surface I have no doubt that this is within his power. Indeed. An unwelcome prospect, to be sure. Normally, I would assure you that Sothaseel has the situation well in hand. He is a friend to the Sijix and to the people of Tamriel. But the presence of this Daedric artifact gives me pause. I must inform the Sijic Rite Master. If Daedra have breached the gates of the Clockwork City, we must move swiftly. As for you, I would counsel vigilance. Whoever set these events in motion no doubt sees you as a threat. Take this, and my thanks. Okay. Complete the quest. We the most powerful scrying device in Tamriel, and all it yields is more questions. Hmm. The perfect metaphor for the scholarly life, I suppose. Uh, this now, basically, this backstory. Um, you sound yes, tired. I, could say yes. I fear that in destroying my shadow, we've destroyed some vital piece of my animus. Mm. I feel thin, diminished. A weakened Sijic is still a formidable mage, but something is definitely broken. Best not to think about it. All right, and based on talking about now, this other one. So you knew our attacker. Yeah. Mm. She was suspicious all she along. Was powerful indeed, and yet I sensed that the strength was not her own. Her form was clumsy, but she struck with the power of a master wizard. Usually, I'd suspect possession, but with her, I'm not so certain. Someone granted her powers beyond her ken, an agent of oblivion. 
Bonifred was clearly filled with hatred, consumed by jealousy or resentment, perhaps. The Daedra can twist those passions into untold horrors. I pity her. <laughs> okay. I was talking well, about, uh... No one really knows Surfaceer. Um... Not even the other members of the tribunal. the other member of the tribunal. I studied under him for a time. He was patient, surprisingly attentive. The perfect teacher in many respects. Even so, I never really felt that I knew him. Beyond the obvious? Not much. I can tell you he's nothing like the bear. He never spoke about himself, or the dark elf faith. I always got the sense that he, well, resented isn't the right word. He just seemed ambivalent about that part of his life. Interesting. Okay. Each one of those members of the tribunal have different personalities, I noticed, between Alamexia, Vivek, and so they see it. The Clockwork City. Only a big and mostly a metaphor. It's his primary pursuit now. Some say it's his obsession. You see, despite all his power, there is a melancholy to him. It's unfortunate, but not surprising. True wisdom always brings some measure of despair. Okay, and the... I must admit, I'm unaccustomed to discussing such matters with people outside our order. But I think you've more than earned the privilege. Right Master Iacusis directs the Sigics. He rivals Sotha Seal in wisdom, if not in power. That's interesting, because he's also a god. Yes. The old ways give little credence to such titles. What is a god other than an exceptionally powerful agent? Anyway. Power is overrated. Wisdom is the true measure of a person. In that regard, Iacusis is great indeed. Can okay, I meet him? Perhaps. Good, I, I hope. The Sigic Order's Isle of Arteum is no longer here. It may return in time, but for now, you'd probably have an easier time reaching Ethereus or realms beyond. I've been to Cole Harbor, so I mean. The value solitude, much like Sofa Seal. All right, that's basically it. Because we're back to the, you're tired earlier. Are you okay? Thing. Um, so I hope these missions steered out going to the Clockwork City and extending more into the story of Morrowind. The Sigic Order becomes more involved, and you get to know those people again. Because I, I kind of liked that storyline in Sky in Skyrim. I was kind of torn too, because I played this first. I played it online, other uh, Tamriel Unlimited first before I played Skyrim. So my loyalty to the elf side, you know, in that game, it was kind of hard to get used to having the elves being aggressive. But regardless, I'm happy that Morrowind's story is finally continuing. Because at the end of Morrowind, when you help Vivek, not that it was a bad ending, I just kind of felt like, well, now what? You know, the, the end fight wasn't that complicated. It was very easy to defeat Barbaris and um, the other guys. So it, it was kind of like uneventful, unclimatic. But I'm hoping this Clockwork City thing that we're, I was expecting to do before will fill that void. And another thing that kind of ended quickly too was the whole storyline with uh, Nairu. But if you play through that entire mission, you can find Nairu later on in the docks with um, the, the other lady that was uh, the, the assassin, her apprentice. That's going to pick up soon, too, because they, they give a dead giveaway that Razum Da is going back in the picture again, with kind of like at the end of the Assassin's uh, Guild storyline, where we had to find the Sweet Roll Killer together. So I have high hopes for the future of this. I, ho I hope it picks up pace again. I mean, wherever you have Razum Da in, this, in the picture, I feel that the story can't go wrong. He's probably one of the most iconic pictures in this game, along with Nairu. Both characters are very important in this game. So, again, for the last time, I'm looking forward to it, and I'm hoping it's a lot more in-depth, a lot deeper the story. Oh, yeah. Again, just like the last time, we got something pretty cool here. A nice little new memento. Observe. Yeah. Okay. That's the uh, scrying device they use. It's not as dramatic as um, Azura's essence, but it's not bad. It's pretty cool. 
Okay, but for real, this time, I'm done. Everybody, take care. And until next time, game on.